Welcome. In this video, we'll be solving trigonometric equations involving cotangent part one. Let's take a look at our first example. Solve the equation given below for theta greater than or equal to zero and less than two pi. Here's our equation. Negative five plus cotangent of theta is equal to negative five. So let's isolate the cotangent. To do so, let's add five to both sides of the equation. Notice that we get that cotangent of theta is equal to zero. Now, recall that cotangent is the reciprocal function of tangent. So we can rewrite this equation as one over tangent of theta is equal to zero. If this is equal to zero, this implies that tangent is undefined for that particular angle theta. So looking at um, the chart here from uh, 0 to pi, let's find out what is the angle that will make tangent undefined. And the particular angle is pi over 2. So we can say, well, that means that tangent of pi over 2 is undefined. Which implies that theta is equal to pi over 2. So that's our first angle. However, we know that the period of tangent is equal to pi. So what we're going to do, since we want um, theta to be between 0 and 2 pi, is to add another pi to this particular value for theta. So we can get another angle in there. So we can say also that theta is equal to pi over 2 plus pi. Now let's multiply the pi by 2 over 2 so we can get the common denominator and this is equal to uh, 3 pi over 2. Now one can check this by looking at the actual table here on the right. So we have um, if theta is equal to 3 pi over 2 we get that the tangent is also undefined. Therefore our solutions here are theta could be equal to pi over 2 or 3 pi over 2. Let's see one more example. Example two, solve the equation given below for theta greater than or equal to zero and less than two pi. Once again, here's our equation. Nine plus a square root of three over three is equal to three plus cotangent of theta. Let's go ahead and isolate the cotangent by subtracting three from both sides. Now we're writing as follows. We get um, an equivalent equation. So we have cotangent of theta is equal to 9 plus the square root of 3 all over 3 minus a 3. Now let's get the same denominator. So let's multiply this one by 3 over 3. So cotangent of theta is equal to 9 plus the square root of 3 over 3 minus 3 times 3 is 9 over 3. And now recall that this can be rewritten as 9 plus the square root of 3 minus 9 all over 3. And check this out. The 9 and the negative 9 cancel out. So you get that cotangent of theta is equal to the square root of 3 over 3. Now using the fact that cotangent is the reciprocal function for tangent, we can rewrite this equation as follows. 1 over tangent of theta is equal to square root of 3 over 3, which implies that the reciprocal tangent of theta is equal to the reciprocal of this, which is 3 over the square root of 3. Now, we don't like to have irrational numbers as denominators, so re let's rationalize this one by multiplying by the square root of 3 over square root of 3. So notice that um, we have that tangent of theta is equal to 3 times the square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 becomes the square root of 9, which is also 3. So we can rewrite this one as 3 square root of 3 over 3. The 3s cancel here, so we get that tangent of theta is equal to the square root of 3. So we're looking for an angle theta such that it's tangent, it's a square root of 3. Let's focus on the interval from 0 to pi on the chart. So from 0 to pi, let's find the angle for which tangent is equal to square root of 3. And that angle happens to be pi over 3. So we can say, okay, 
theta is equal to pi over 3. However, using the fact that the period of tangent is equal to pi, and using the fact that um, we want um, all the angles to be between 0 and 2 pi, we're going to generate the next angle by adding this period of pi to the previous angle. So we also have that theta could be pi over 3 plus pi. Now, let me multiply this pi by 3 over 3 to get the common denominator. So we get 1 pi plus 3 pi becomes 4 pi all over 3. Therefore, we can say that our solutions are theta is equal to pi over 3 or theta could be equal to 4 pi over 3. Now, to double check our work on this one, we can look at the uh, table uh, provided. So let's see what is tangent of uh, 4 pi over 3. And you notice it's uh, square root of 3. Okay, So we just found our solutions for this particular equation. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.